Hello, this is Aaron with Internet Computers from AnetComputers.com. This video deals with a keyboard locked. How to unlock your locked computer keyboard. That may sound strange, but I will describe it. I filed this one under computer problems. Keyboard locked. How to unlock your locked computer keyboard. Have you been using your computer and somehow you managed to lock your keyboard? How do you unlock it? You can try pressing some following keys on your keyboard all at same time. Basically, you're using your computer and your external keyboard USB or PS2 style just locks up. So it just no longer works. So these are some tips on how to try to get your keyboard unlocked or working again. So you would hit your control alt shift plus delete all at the same time you want to hold down those keys control alt shift delete for whatever reason the computer quits talking with your keyboard so that might be a way to get it out of hypnosis or whatever is going on you can also try turning off a numlock key by pressing it if it still works perhaps you accidentally bumped your numlock key and maybe that's what it is so you just hit your numlock key and see if it turns off or that's a quick way to see if your com your keyboard locked up is by I'm doing it right now when it's on it's lit up blue I just pressed it to turn it off and then I press it again to turn on that's just a quick way to see if your keyboard is locked up if that doesn't fix that issue I assume those keys on that keyboard stopped working do any keys work so you can try your caps lock that turns on that you know normally on most keyboards turns on a light or a scroll lock turns on a light but num lock for me anyways is a quick one I just press on it if it if it was not lit up and I press on it and then it lights up again then I know keyboards functional another thing to know is whether or not is it a USB universal serial bus keyboard or a PS2 style keyboard those are older type keyboards the USB are just your normal USB type connection and then a PS2 style keyboard are the round ones they're round with some pins normally those are usually purple but not always but usually the end of it is purple and then a mouse PS2 style mouse is usually green but just look for possibly a purple and and it's the round type small plugs also if it is a non-standard keyboard with programmable keys then perhaps one of these keys accidentally locked it a bottom line solution is to turn off that computer so before I get into that part it, you might have a really fancy keyboard that's quite expensive and it might have programmable keys maybe you accidentally press those keystrokes or bump some keys that it might be one of those programmable keyboards that is lockable you you maybe so people can't use your keyboard while you're you know security or whatever it might be that fancy so you just press your unlock keys to unlock the keyboard that's a possibility so a bottom line solution is to turn off that computer disconnect that keyboard restart your computer and after boot reconnect that keyboard so that an operating system will recognize it as new hardware caveat here's a caveat on a USB keyboard what you could try is to unplug it and then plug it back in only try plugging it into a different USB port sometimes with computers the, the a USB port will just stop functioning and then you just unplug your device but for this blog or this YouTube video unplug your USB style keyboard and then plug it into a different USB port on your computer and then Windows will should detect it XP Vista 7A it will quickly load drivers again and hopefully it'll work a PS2 style is a little bit different most PS2 style keyboards don't work. You can try it. Some do. Most of them are not hot swappable like USB. But you could try it. You could unplug it from its purple connector on your computer, plug it back in, 
and the lights should show should flash just to tell let you know that it was connected and it's, it's getting some power and then try to see if it works press your numlock key or just try to type on it and see if it works that way you don't have to reboot your computer you might have to reboot your computer if you do on a USB keyboard I would probably just reboot it if your mouse still works hopefully your mouse still works so that you can reboot your computer using your mouse then I wouldn't necessarily say you have to switch ports if it's a USB you could and then if it's a PS2 style I would still try to unconnect it and then power off your computer or reboot it and then reconnect it on a PS2 style keyboard usually not always but usually your keyboard must be plugged in so that the computer can detect it USB not necessarily but so then a solution would be to restart your computer blah 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 and then hopefully Windows will it'll work properly with Windows there just could have been some kind of snafu where a reboot was required but I did try to include some tips for you where you don't have to reboot your computer maybe your mouse doesn't work either then you have to do a cold boot but that's not recommended if if both your mouse and keyboard are locked up again what you could try to do is un disconnect them from the back of your computer reconnect them and see if they are functioning now if they are USB style swap USB ports if they are PS2 style keyboard and mouse do not swap ports they have they are specific the keyboard port is usually purple the PS2 mouse port is usually green and if you must do a cold boot, that's not re recommended. But some computers, if you just key, if you press on the power for a couple of seconds, it'll automatically shut itself down. On Windows, that works quite a bit. You don't want to just hold the power button because then that will do a cold boot. That'll cut the power, and that's no bueno, muy mal, no good. That's not good for Windows operating systems. But if you press in your power button for maybe a second or two you should notice that it will kick off and it'll try to shut down windows properly anyways oh and then I guess another tip before I run you could you if your mouse still works you could go into device manager on XP Vista 7 or 8 go into control panel and then however you get to which depending on what operating system you're using go into control panel then go into device manager or you can right click the computer icon on the desktop go to properties go to the device the heart device manager hardware tab but you want to get into device manager look for your keyboard it might be missing that could be a clue that it's not working what you could do is you could there's a little tool in device manager will it where it will search for new devices you could click on that and have your com Windows scan for for new devices or if you unhook physically your keyboard either USB or PS2 Windows should tr w detect it and try to load drivers again or it'll just see it and it'll start working but you could manually go into device manager if your computer keyboard shows up in device manager what you can do is right click on it select it right click delete it then click that little scan tool that's in device manager then Windows will go out and look for new devices that were hooked up and it might detect your keyboard again and that might fix your issue and you might be typing away so anyways you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for more possible potential tips to fix your most common computer problems thank you for listening